I'm the thinking man, woman. It's been a long All right, you guys, here's the deal. Jacqueline and I were talking, and we said we need to slow our roll a little bit because things are getting a little crazy, not getting enough time to get out and exercise. When we first went on the road, we didn't have, you know, the channel had 200 subscribers or 100 subscribers or something like that, so we had all this time. So we said we are going to take today off, which is Thursday. We're gonna go hiking with our friends Roy and Phyllis over in Sierra Vista. And uh, just get out a little bit. We spend a lot of time sitting in the RV at our desks. At desk, we have one desk. We sit at the table and uh, we said, you know what, we got to get out. We got to get some time out in the hiking boots and uh, away from the computers and to shoot some content for you guys. So that's what we're going to do today. Hey. Hey, you ready to go? I am. Everything's packed up and locked and then I have everything I need in here. And are you ready? I am. I, I was telling the folks okay. that we're going to go take today off and go hiking with Roy and Phyllis. Yes. Although I do have to say, it was kind of difficult to get you, you, me, to stop working. And we said we we're going to take the day off. So I had to drag you away from your computer and it's going to be fun. And sometimes we need to do this. I agree. Let's get going. They're waiting on us. Okay. I've been waiting all day for you to get ready. Who was waiting on who? Who made who? Who made you? Ooh, easy, easy. All right, you guys, we have arrived at the hiking trail. Apparently it's called the Perimeter Trail in Sierra Vista, and then it's also called the Brown Canyon Hiking Trail. The wind is starting to come up. Not as bad as tomorrow. Tomorrow's supposed to be 50 mile an hour gusts. It's not gonna be fun. A rocky day in the RV. So anyway, we're gonna hope the wind holds up for you guys. And then uh, we're gonna do some hiking and go check it out. And, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and uh, I don't know where that came from. Anyway, um, gonna go look at the blimp too that they put up in the air I'm really excited to see that it's gonna be massive let's get going who's excited to hike hey we are awesome Woo! who brought the comb the what the what? comb the comb nobody ever saw stand by me oh the comb I brought the cone I'm like no comb oh, I brought my, the comb not with my hair yeah. <laughs> or Dave's yeah. <laughs> way, to, way to stick me in there when Roy chucks himself under the bus and then you jump in and chuck me under. Well, that's my job. It's, we're married, right? Time for another Airbnb. All right, well, let's go. <laughs> How they knew I was coming, I have no idea. Hmm. So what exactly is that thing? Okay, that's an aerostat. It's um, operated by the United States Air Force. There's a number of sites along the border. Basically, it's a big blimp. And in the belly, they have a LPF radar, which is a, a fighter jet type radar. And what they're looking for are low flyers coming across the border, um, running drugs, basically.
Why? Why? Oh man, what do you have now? <laughs> Woohoo! Look what I got! My very first drone. I'm so excited. Look how small it is. Look how small that is. So you want to know what I thought? For a first drone, this was really simple and it's small, it's easy to use, and it took some pretty great pictures and video. This is a good hike. This is a great hike. I feel great. I feel fabulous. So far we've done about 38, 39 miles. <laughs> and we have about another 60 to 90 to go and then we're going to be back to base camp. So we have to put our oxygen tanks on here in a little bit because we're getting into the death zone. Sorry, but I just saw the Mexican wolf again. Boy, they are stealth. Hello. Why am I calling him and trying to get him to come to me? I don't know. La cucaracha, la cucaracha. What if I start howling? Would that do Ow. anything? No, don't. What if? <laughs> All right, let's go to the death zone. All right. I saw the Mexican wolf thing again. Yeah, I think he's cracking up. So one interesting thing is these little pipes here. There's a metal one and a plastic one or PVC and they go all the way from Car Peak and Miller, Miller Peak, I think I got that right, and brings water from Snowfall all the way down to the aquifers in Sierra Vista and surrounding areas. That's pretty cool. It's a little pipe, but it always has water going through it. So, or at least as long as there's snow melt up there. Roy said, if I put my hand on that, I would probably feel uh, water going through it. Let's try it. That one is not cold at all. That one's really hot, so I'm doubting anything goes through there anymore. Maybe that not, one's not even working. They just did a parallel one with PVC. Things you learn with hanging out with friends in new areas. Yeah. What do you think, Roy? This is pretty... <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> ah! <laughs> I fell. Hey everybody, welcome to another RV Life Tip of the Week with Dave. Today I'm talking about wind management. Now when you're in your truck or car or RV, hold onto your door solid because if that thing goes, you're gonna bend your hinges and your frame and whatever you're gonna bend in that thing. Today's windy, hold onto your doors when you get in and out. It's a big deal. And make sure you check out the 25% off Trip Wizard in the description. Take care you guys. Wind management. That sounds so professional. I'm tired. I'm tired too. We walk. How many miles do you think today? Actually, it was just five. It was five miles? Yeah. Just? Yeah. 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 Just five. But when you haven't been working out, meaning us, we haven't been getting 
getting out much, uh, it makes a difference. It does, but it feels really good. It does. So yeah. Resolution, spring resolution. Ten Pinky miles a day. Square. Pinky Ten square. miles a day. No. If not fifteen. But we're gonna be more active. Yes. Sounds good. Awesome. What are we gonna do now? Go to bed. I'm tired. Now I'm gonna go to night night. Night night. Yes. Grab my CPAP. <laughs> my blankie. Welcome to another Healthy Living Tip with Jacqueline. Today I wanted to talk about water bottles. How often do you wash your water bottle and are you washing it well enough? And the reason I was thinking about it, this is my water bottle here. Dave had one that was see-through and I started to notice that it was getting black spots on it and those black spots are mold and you do not want to be drinking mold. Uh, it's okay, you know, if you get a little bit of mold in your system, if you're a healthy person, if you're immunocompromised, not so good. And anyone and everyone can get a little bit of, you know, upset stomach and things like that if they're ingesting too much mold. So you don't want that. Ugh. So I thought, well, what about my water bottle? I can't tell. I don't know if it's getting moldy. I wash it. So what I did was I looked on Amazon and now I'm not being sponsored by this company, but look what I got. It's by Zulu, so Z-U-L-U, or for Canadians, Z-U-L-U. It's really heavy duty. It holds 24 ounces of water. So the best part about this water bottle is that the bottom comes off. And look, you can wash that, and you can visually see and inspect it that there's no mold or anything on there. Or, change out your water bottle quite often you want to wash it and change it out as often as possible and here's another client transformation and that's been another healthy living tip with Jacqueline if you want more information on my healthy lifestyle program where I help people to lose weight and get healthy and feel better Go ahead and send me an email at theborderhookups at gmail.com or you can check out my Facebook page, Jacqueline Hudson Coach, and you can find a lot of yummy recipes there. Loving my water bottle. All right, so we went from a beautiful hiking day to a windy windy day today we're getting gusts up to 50 miles an hour that's moving and it's supposed to happen or uh keep happening until probably 6:30, 7 o'clock at night so it's gonna be a long day you can look out the window and there's this horse walker behind us and it's moving on its own with no horse so we're inside for the day not a lot going on outside um Where's Jack on? Oh, there she is. I'm Hi. watching you. Hi. <laughs> and so uh, at least it's warm out. We had a windy day the other day and it was uh, so cold that you couldn't even go outside. So yeah, it's crazy how much the weather affects your lifestyle when you're living in your <laughs> RV. Like, I mean, if it's snowing, if it's really windy, I got woken up this morning with this wind because it was shaking me um, in the bed. So. That kind of sucks, but Dave's right. We had that great walk yesterday and we kind of knew this day was coming. So, you know, when you go for a nice hike, it makes you okay with wanting to put a day's work in. Yes. I think that's what we'll do today. In yeah. an RV, you feel it. Even when you have your stabilizers down, you still feel it. You're still on suspension. So um, you just kind of get used to it. You do, but if it's extremely windy, you can actually feel a little bit of motion sickness. Yeah. Yeah, you really can. Yeah. Kind of like being on a cruise ship. I'm gonna clean. I'm gonna clean this whole place. And I'm probably just gonna watch Jacqueline clean. <laughs> just All right, we're gonna brave this wind because we're getting a little seasick in here. So we're gonna go get some coffee and uh, I don't know, maybe fuel up the truck or something. I don't know what we need to do, but we're just getting out of here. Okay, here we go. Oh, whoa. Whoop. Le 
Let me drive for a minute, no radio low. Look at our mat. It was watching the birds fly. <laughs> watching the birds try to fly. They're just flapping their wings, staying in place. Yeah. Oh man. Did you happen to see when we were sitting in the um, slide? So our couch is in the slide and we were just sitting trying to watch a little bit of TV and I could feel the slide moving. Could you feel that? Oh yeah. 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 Wind management. <laughs> that sounds so professional. Do you know that when I was in college, I worked at a, a cereal packing plant and we made Raisin Nut band, Brand and I stood up on this big hopper and I had to fill the hoppers with the with the raisins, the coated raisins and the almonds. And I had a lot of time on my hands. And so I gave myself the job title of an ETDSC, which was an elevated trigranular digestible substance coordinator. Looks good on a resume. <laughs> no? What's your job title now? Driver. And? Uh, wind management. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Wind management supervisor. They should have, we should do an online course on wind management. <laughs> hey everybody, thanks for watching another episode of the Board of Hookups. Oh. Hey everybody, thanks for watching another episode of the Board of Hookups. Please roll my God. All right, here we go. <laughs> Take three. Hey everybody, thanks for watching another episode of the Board of Hookups. Please remember to subscribe and the ding that bell so that we can let all of you know as when we have more episodes coming out. If you liked what you saw in the video, give us a thumbs up and place a comment below because we'd like to know what you're thinking. And we hope to see you all out here. See you out here. Woo! Come here, Ryan. Come in here, Ryan. You missed the video, Ryan. And that's Ryan. Happy birthday, Ryan. Happy birthday.